it's not anything that's hidden. So I don't see. So the, the, the question is, and I'm confused yeah. though. I'm, yeah. I say I'm confused. I, I st what I'm really missing here is all we're doing is is giving the uh, the library the ability to or some additional flexibility to operate. We're not. And, 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 and again, there's never been any, again, in my experience on the board, there's been no patron who's ever had any issue with this um, at all. Because all we're doing, again, is, is making the library more um, available to the community uh, and, and keeping it as functional as possible by putting this appropriation in place. And all you're doing by trying to, to eliminate it is eliminate a possibility of something that may be a, of a low occurrence, but the bottom line is, whether you want to call it Johnson's Law or Murphy's Law, if we take that away, this in the next five months or five days, something's going to happen where you know we're, we're going to have a uh, you know an appropriations or an issue where the appropriation having been there would have been of help. It's just it's mm -hmm. just and, and as I said, there, there's more random things happening in the in the environment, natural you know natural as I said, storms or lightning. You know, so as I said, if we had a major speaker here, for example, and we needed to shift that event on a few hours' notice or a day's notice. That's the kind of thing you know. And there's all kinds of other there's other contingencies as well, mm -hmm. but but I really. I, what I'm what I'm missing is yeah. in my mind, and again, having run several businesses, this is a healthy, prudent thing to do, to protect, in the case, the business of the library, and by extension, the community. So, and it I, costs our it residents costs zero. nothing. It costs zero, yeah. and, and, it, and there will be no there's no expenditure unless unless an unexpected need arises, and then we we. And then the it, board so. has to approve that. Yes. So. So the. And then you've the, got a public meeting, next month, where. 15 minutes prior, you, the public can come and state what their thoughts so are. So I, I'll, I'll ask it again, or make my comment slash question. If all we're really trying to do is in the extremely unlikely event in Wolf's Law or Murphy's Law that something bad it will occur, we can cover that with one separate line item of $400,000 contingency. But there isn't any need. If, if that's the objective, we, we can cover it with a line item Pick a figure, but it only, in my opinion, leads to confusion with two separate documents, both of which have the word budget. I appreciate one happens to say budget. I appreciate it simply authorizes. I appreciate it's an ordinance. To me, it speaks to public clarity and confidence in helping people understand the workings of the library to have the same budget document with the same line items and cover everything we want to cover with the 400,000 or pick whatever figure you want that's just for emergencies. To me, there's no value added to do both of them, which just leads to some confusion. Well, I, I don't think we've had any confusion on this yeah. matter in my 35 years on this board or in my, I think this is my fourth term as treasurer, except from one trustee. Well, it has not Rogers, been raised until mm -hmm. now it was raised as a in, source of confusion. It was raised in the in the Wilmette Beacon last year. It was raised in the Wilmette Beacon. And when by I was, a, when by I a was, former trustee who well, doesn't understand running, municipal when library I was finance. When for trustee, a lot of that, a lot of my signature um, Provide people provided the signature for me. Asked me about that. Asked me about that article. That article has well. I'm that article that was filled with I'm misinformation and misinterpretation. But I want you to know that a lot of the people that provided a signature for me and who asked me, how is the trustee position going? How is that? You know, they all know about the capital reserve because of that article. So you may not realize it, but that brought a lot of attention it to did, our but, budget. But, but like Trustee Rogers said, it brought up a lot of confusion, and confusion. It, because, because the you're article exactly was inaccurate. Right. All it did was create a, so it created what, an issue what, out of nothing. You're exactly okay, right. But, but what wait, Director but, Johnson said is very valid. But there's one People more point. I, I, I misspoke about one oh, thing. I, that's I okay. And I don't. Wait, we should talk about this in the finance committee. I just want to. No, say, I misspoke. I misspoke about one thing. The reason you, for transparency purposes, the reason you have each line item is the 10 percent extension yeah. is because there are other things that can happen besides a natural disaster where you need to spend money there could be an opportunity for something in in, in a department or in a resource that becomes available to, for the library to acquire and if we have a, if we have a budget only and again i'm only using this as an example i get it but if, if we have a, a a collection of books and all of a sudden a school the school decides they're going to do a special event around some book we have to go out and buy a thousand more copies of the book 
we have the ability to do it. And that's, a, that's a, not a great, I mean, this, that's the concept behind the appropriation. We then have the ability to be flexible and nimble, again, to serve the community. And it's n in no way to take advantage of anything, but it becomes more transparent because we see, okay, we would see later that, okay, there was a 10% appropriation in books, and we spent some of that 10% in books. If we have a lump sum slush, slush fund, then it becomes very, it becomes potentially much more ambiguous because it's a slush fund and not a, a specific line item sure. uh, extension of the budget, of the budget items. Are there any the other discussions yeah, or gonna, different information yeah. or, or points that you want to make before we throw a motion on there and do a vote and see where everybody stands? I think it's worth just noting to the trustees that the perception of a different budget you know, final figures and the budget and appropriation is confusing. The perception, sorry, is important because it's confusing to the, you know, kind of in layman's terms to the, you know, average Joe out there who could pick up, you know, who wants to maybe pick up the beacon next week or last week, you know, and, and we were in the, you know, article, or we were, we were in the beacon two weeks ago after our last meeting. So, but I it's think confusing. It's important that we provide. It's confusing maybe more because the legislation that authorizes us to levy taxes and budget and have appropriations is written in the General Assembly for purposes other than clarity. So we follow what the law requires for library districts. We follow what our attorneys recommend as prudent financial management. Mm -hmm. That's what the appropriation ordinance and the budget and the levy are intended sure. to address. I have been, you know, I, <laughs> I spent several years attempting to explain these things for school districts, municipalities, libraries, etc. as a newspaper reporter. And I explain them to the writers for other media as well. And I ran a summer seminar at Northwestern on how to understand school and municipal budgets for that purpose. The bottom line is it's not written to be clear and understandable. That's not something we control. The legislature made those judgments. We operate under the Illinois Library District Act, and the recommendations we receive from our attorneys and our auditors about how best to manage within those boundaries. And that's what these materials and this, these ordinances are intended to implement. I don't expect that there will never ever be any confusion because it's not written in plain English and it's difficult to understand sometimes. That does not necessarily mean that we should abandon the principles of sound financial management for library districts. Trustee Johnson. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, so I um, delayed my uh, question about uh, the transfer to the Special Reserve Fund until we sort of exhausted the, the General Reserve Fund conversation, which I appreciate. Um, so. If I'm a trustee that feels we have enough in the special reserve fund and I don't want to authorize any more money to be put into it, then um, let me put it another way. I guess it's really not a question. Um, when we get to a motion, I'd like to offer an amendment to strike out the authorization to transfer to the special reserve fund because this one isn't a matter of giving us our flexibility, which I understand your point on, but this one is setting a policy that we're authorizing that transfer. And if I, when it's appropriate, I'd like to make an amendment that we strike that line from this. Well, we haven't even finished this one yet, so. Understood, I'm just letting you know. That's I, fine. I, I, That's I thought a, I was gonna ask a question, still on the I was talking out loud, I realized I don't have a question. question. This is, <laughs> I answered it myself, Stuart, yeah, you're yeah. right. So, <laughs> so does anyone have a motion? I will motion, motion well, to ordinance. approve the <laughs> ordinance number 2019-20-193. Uh, is there a second? Second. Roll call vote. And may I amend that motion? No. <laughs> that you, the transfer doesn't. Cool. Yes, I think this would be the opportunity okay. for an amended motion. Okay. <laughs> well, we need to second this one. Well, we we have have a, second I it. seconded it. Trustee Rogers seconded it. 
So my uh, motion to amend this ordinance is to strike the $200,000 that uh, authorizes the transfer to the Special Reserve Fund. I think it's line what is it, V. Um, That's my opinion. So that's my motion, or my amend, my motion to, a, my motion to amend the motion on the floor, is to strike out that two hundred thousand dollar line item. That's the. Um, it is uh, item five. Item five transfer to B and E Special Reserve. And that's off of the appropriation from the general uh, fund. Our appropriations amendment. Okay. Thank you for the procedural help. Item yeah, five. we need a second on that. Where's, where's five? Where's it? Oh, here? Here it is. It's oh, gosh, we got you. Right here. It's yes, in got the it. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Budget and appropriation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I went, I, I, I Roman lost numeral five. Got it. I lost my order. Okay. Okay, thank you. Did you find it? I second. Roll call vote. Okay. Trustee Riddle. Abstain. Yeah, what are we, what are we uh, on the amendment? On the, on the no, amendment. We're, we're Just on the amendment to strip out the two hundred thousand dollars. So we're voting on that first. Okay. Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee Rogers. No. Trustee Wolf. No. Uh, Trustee McDonald. No. Okay. I would note that this is an authorization for a transfer, not a requirement for a transfer. Right, that's, that was my... I call the question on approval of the ordinance as specified. I'll second that motion. Roll call. Uh, Trustee Riddle. Nay. Trustee Johnson. No. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Okay. It passed. Yeah. 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 Three. Got a majority of people. A majority of the quorum. Okay. Um, may we take a little break for um, a restroom break, please, if that's possible? I motion. Yeah. I motion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> motion. A second. Okay. We don't need a motion. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Um, should I look at this later or? Oh, not? you can take it with you. Oh, really? It okay. has places listed, but just give it back. To oh, yeah. Okay. If I feel, I don't want to take it because I feel it's too valuable. But were you there? I thought you said you were there a long, long, long time ago. That's a long time ago. Well, seven years ago. I, seven years ago doesn't seem like, like I think That's a like, long time ago. I think ago. like 20 years ago. No, I was in Taiwan a long time ago. Okay. That's cool that you did all this. Okay. It's good. It's good. Uh, every month is a question. Okay. Get another kid's down. I'd love to see that. Yeah, that was just a day trip, and the plane was late to get going. Uh -huh. Stuart is going to see his son in China. Where is he in China? He's he's in a place called Han. He'll be, he's not there yet. He's going for his fall term to a place called Hangzhou, which is mm -hmm. two hours south of Shanghai. Okay. And then he's do, and once he's done with <coughs> abroad, um, I'm going to meet him in, in Shanghai, and we'll spend five days together, and then go to Thailand, where my daughter is in the Peace Corps. So, uh, Are you? so you've got it's your fingers all over the globe. <laughs> my family fingers or my family fingers? fingers. Yeah, you know, my, daughter, my, daughter, my daughter's been there for over yeah, over a year and a half. So she's uh, <laughs> and um, and so I, and I don't know if I'll ever get back to Asia. And, and so I'm gonna and I couldn't figure out exactly where to go. And I wanted to see the Great Wall. The Great Wall. I told Lisa was on my bike. You'll see the you'll see the Great Wall. It's well, sort of like cartoonish. Well, that's it's, my, it's like a tourist. Uh, one of my one of my business partners. Um, went to China and he happened to have some connections that got them into uh, one of the little villages. And one of the okay. things that was, was fascinating was that they had um, satellite dishes and they had television sets, but no indoor plumbing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah, right. Our, our, our cultural <laughs> are, our, our okay. cultural All right, are. I think okay. we probably can resume, can resume now. Okay. So the directors? No, next up is this one, right? Oh, yep. oh right, yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess. Next up is uh, ordinance number 2019-20-194, amended and the appropriation ordinance for fiscal year 2018-19.
Do you want to talk a little bit about that one? Sure. Um, so what we have before us this evening um, here in the second item is an amended budget and appropriation ordinance. Um, the, the fiscal year that just ended on June 30th um, had a combined budget and budget appropriation ordinance. So when there's been a variance, um, while we were under our budget at 95.13, uh, there were a few lines that had a variance. And because we didn't call out individually a variance in those individual line items, um, in order for us to align the budget, um, we have to debit from the contingency uh, to cover those um, those overages that you know approximate about 10% on each of those lines, so this is a this is a a formality that we regularly go through. Um, it doesn't happen every year, but has happened um, intermittently in in the past. I think our last instance of this was in fiscal year 1314. Um, so I'm happy to take any questions that you may have about the document that's in front of you. Um, so big picture, this is basically um, a technical thing? I think this is more of a formality. That's kind of part and parcel of the, the way that the document was originally drafted. 